Good morning. So today what we're going to do is we are going to try out this new it's wood stabilizer. It's called Pentacryl. So I purchased this last night and as you've seen in the past I've been started to do some tree cookies. Now I want to show you what I've been um, trying to avoid. If you look here, this we cut pretty thin and we just let it dry on its own. You can see there was some cracking in the middle and I stabilized that with super glue and it actually stabilized pretty well. However, uh, it warped a little bit and I'm gonna try to avoid the cracking and the warping and we're gonna try to do that with pentacryl. Now normally what I've seen other people do is they've actually soaked the piece of uh, the piece in uh, pentacryl. However, pentacryl is kind of pricey and I am not going to soak it. I'm gonna pour it on and try to, hopefully that works. So I'm gonna spread it over over top of it, the top and the bottom. I'm gonna keep it on this plastic and then we're gonna do the rest of them. But before that, I wanna show you, so this is one that we we did. This is a, uh, a piece of uh, cedar that uh, I had let dry for a couple, couple years, but it kind of been left out in the rain. And so it started to crack. And so I filled it with uh, all the cracks with super glue and that's holding it pretty good. I think because it's so dry, I'm not gonna to try to use it with Pentacryl. Now, uh, the next thing, I also have this Anchor Wood Sealer. And this is more kind of like a, a wax paint, um, almost like a rubber paint. So if you look down here at these, these are a little bit thicker. And I think what I wanna to do to avoid this warping, uh, this warping, we're going to put it on these and let these dry at their own rate and then I'm going to route them flat but for these that we've already gone forward and actually put the made them flat in order to save them we're going to uh, we're gonna put the pentacryl on okay so uh, here we go I'm just gonna pour it on rub it in with my gloves let it soak in uh, and then we will so come closer So, and I was told this is gonna change the color of the wood just a little bit. I'm just rubbing it in, okay? My understanding is this will soak up the uh, the wood quite a bit. Come closer, please. Thank you. Absolutely. I've got my beautiful daughter helping me today, doing the videoing. She's doing a fantastic job. I zoomed it in because it can zoom in. Oh, all right. He didn't know that it can zoom in. So, and you see I'm putting on quite a bit and it's just soaking it up. So it my, my only fear is that as I put this on, it, I guess it's not a fear, it's just that it'll work, but it'll be so cost prohibitive to do these big ones that it, it, it won't make much sense. So I'm gonna do some without it, some with it, and we're gonna see, and at later on I'll, I'll post a a video of the results and we can we can see how it goes but Makes for right fun. now it looks like it's going swimmingly it looks really pretty Ooh, the smell and so my understanding is you put this on until it soaks it up and then you put some more on and then you put some more on and then you put some more on so we have the first side done, and I'll probably put some more on. It looks like it already went through a little bit. Mm -hmm. That's how much it soaked through, so I'm encouraged that it's not gonna it's not gonna take the whole gallon for one piece, which uh, will be the the gallon that I bought. This was sixty two dollars. Whoa, that's a lot. Um, and. So it looks like it's not soaking in quite as much on this side and that's probably because it's already gone through on the other side quite a bit. Still super pretty wood, love it, love ash. It looks beautiful. Um, and so there we go. 
So I'll give you another one of actually paint, putting this on the larger sections and then we'll watch it and we'll let you know how, what our results are. It's probably going to be a little bit for this to completely dry out, but uh, I have high hopes and uh, sounds good. We'll, we'll talk to you later.